what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have some news regarding jurassic world dominion i haven't done a jurassic park video i believe ever really on this channel so <laughs> i know this is a breath of fresh air for a lot of you hopefully i attract some jurassic park fans hopefully a lot of my subscribers are already jurassic park fans i'm going to just try to venture out and discuss other film franchises while we re remain waiting in in uh wait waiting for news regarding the primary series i've been following for the past couple of months uh scream halloween theory videos on jeepers creepers but to get into what i want to talk about we got confirmation that a specific major character from the original film uh lewis dodgson who was responsible for having dennis nedry give him embryos in that shaving cream can back in the original movie who was who was a competitor working for a competitor rival company against engine biosyn he will be returning that character will be returning in jurassic world dominion he will be portrayed by campbell scott and i'm really excited about this because already we know that jurassic world dominion will have a lot of the returning a lot of the main characters from the first two films and the third one jurassic park 3 uh we have sam neill coming back to play dr grant we have ian malcolm back once again being portrayed by jeff goldblum and we have uh i i can't think of her name but the blonde the blonde character from jurassic park i literally just went dead in regards to what her name was she's going to be back as well with dr grant and ian malcolm so it'll be really interesting to see how they are introduced to the film and whether or not this biosyn returning character uh dodgson whether he will be the one that brings them into the into the fold in regards to our new characters because the jurassic world series it's not being led by the characters from the original trilogy it's being led by chris pratt and bryce dallas howard they play the characters of claire and owen who are they've been like the one thing i will say about jurassic world this new trilogy the consistency of the of the cast the original trilogy the first three jurassic parks we have cast members that returned jeff goldblum returned from the first movie to the lost world then he was gone from the third sam neill returned from the first to the third I, like i just appreciate the fact that with jurassic world we have now a consistency in regards to who our lead characters are with this duo of bryce dallas howard and chris pratt they've been very good in their roles uh, for the most part, I think this new reimagining or continuation from Jurassic Park 3 with Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom have been decent. Jurassic World being the better of the two, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was kind of a setback. In a, it basically was a glorified retread of the Lost World Jurassic Park, which is fine, but I just hope with Jurassic World Dominion, we get some fresh new things to see and i hope it's not i hope jurassic world dominion somehow is not a recreation of jurassic park 3 because if that's the case i'll be severely disappointed just because of the fact that in the the fallen kingdom the dinosaurs at the end they escape they are basically set loose and we actually had a short film come out recently from universal showing us what's happened in between fallen kingdom and jurassic world 3 where we had a family being terrorized by a dinosaur in their trailer while they were uh, looks like they were camping so I'm really excited to see how Jurassic World Dominion will build upon that. I'm hopefully we're getting a Rise of the Planet of the Apes type of movie. I'm hoping for it to be very action-packed. I can't wait to see how this character of Dodgson will factor into the plot because he was, a lot of people, including myself, after seeing the demise of Dennis Nedry in the original movie after that uh, Velociraptor took him out in, in, the, in the truck or in that Jeep from Jurassic Park, it was very um, interesting how that shaving cream can was highlighted and pinpointed on after his demise when it was rolling down into the mud and it was kind of teasing us that at some point the series would revisit that character and that concept and go back to biosyn and possibly make them relevant again somewhere down the road now that didn't happen in the lost world or jurassic park 3 it did not happen in jurassic world it did not happen in jurassic world the fallen kingdom but it's nice to know that we will be getting uh lewis dodgson back in jurassic world dominion what role he will play honestly i think he's going to be one of the main villains if not the main villain we'll be revisiting what they've done with those embryos if they ever manage to get other ones because to my knowledge 
Dennis Nedry, he never uh, uh, from the original movie we saw he never got to deliver those because the Velociraptor took him out. What I think will be interesting is if people from Biosyn maybe visited that park undetected after it was a after it was abandoned and John Hammond decided not to go through with it after um, Ian Malcolm and the other experts who he had give a, who he gave a tour of the park to decided to not endorse it and decided to convince him to not go ahead with the idea. I think it would be very interesting to find out that Biosyn, some people in connections with Biosyn who work for that rival company who was trying to catch up with Engine and the recreations of dinosaurs, maybe they went there and they retrieved that shaving cream can that Dennis Nedry unfortunately was unable to deliver with those embryos. Maybe they've done something with them and that'll factor somehow into the main uh, conflict with Jurassic World Dominion. I can't wait to see what happens with this film. I know production is supposed to start up. They're looking to start up production in the coming weeks or coming days if they haven't already. I know they have their all all their new guidelines to accommodate with the pandemic. So it'll be really interesting to see once the first few set photos come out what actually we'll have a better better idea and understanding of what we can expect from Jurassic World Dominion. Um I all to the best of my knowledge, I'm expecting a Rise of the Planet of the Apes type of movie. I really am. I'm expecting this movie to be one of the best. What I'm disappointed with, though, is the fact that it's not going to be the final chapter. If I'm not mistaken, recently, the, the director of the previous two movies, uh, he has come out and stated that Jurassic World Dominion will hopefully they're hoping this would like bridge us into a new wave of films and i'm like come on now i, I thought <laughs> i literally thought jurassic world was i thought the whole point of that 2015 film was to set up a new trilogy not to then i mean maybe maybe i'm underestimating or not understanding fully what he's saying maybe they're going to end that trilogy with jurassic world dominion but then Jurassic World Dominion will then lead us into another trilogy. That's the part I'm not really too satisfied with. I don't want to go into another trilogy. I think Jurassic Park and this whole idea and this concept has run its course. I think it's time to let this rest. And I know that coming from me, someone who's a big fan of Michael Myers, someone who's a big fan of Jason, Freddy, all of those horror icons that have a long resume of films that far exceed four movies like what Jurassic Jurassic Park has five movies actually far exceed five movies but at the same time I don't think those those franchises should have gone on this long I don't think that Michael Myers should have over eight movies like it does I don't think the Nightmare on Elm Street series should have gone on past Dream Warriors I don't think Friday the 13th should be as long of a series as it is, as it is because now I feel like at some point we need to favor quality over quantity and I don't get that from Jurassic World when I hear stuff like this it's it's great to me that you want to keep this franchise and this universe alive because I love this world and I love these characters and I really am um, entertained by what we now have to offer to the franchise from these last two movies but at the same time it'd be nice for someone to finally pick up that's why I really have an appreciation for what David Gordon Green wants to do with Halloween he wants to have his trilogy of movies and he wants to be done he doesn't want to bridge out and do all these other things I just appreciate when filmmakers have an idea they map it out and they execute it if everything goes right on the first stage they move into the second stage and then they get to finish out their plan with the third stage with a nice trilogy or however many movies you have planned to plan to go with the news that they don't want to even they hope that Jurassic World Dominion will bridge into another trilogy or just more movies. That tells me they don't even know when they're going to end this series. They don't know when they're going to end it. They probably have no plans to end it. But I'm really excited. I can't wait to see all these returning characters come back. Can't wait for production to start so we can hear more details about Dodgson and or Dachshund. I think that's how you pronounce him. I'm not really too sure. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to seeing how Biosyn and that character factor into this. And I can't wait to see what Jurassic World Dominion has to offer and I hope it's a level up from Fallen Kingdom because again Fallen Kingdom was a was a uh, downgrade downgrade compared to what we got from the first Jurassic World from 2015. 
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, more Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.